I got a new joke for you. Why did the blonde tie a magnet to her fishing line? I don't know why. She was fishing for steelhead trout. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> why can't blondes make ice cubes? I don't know. Why? Because they keep forgetting the recipe. <laughs> <laughs> you don't seem to be enjoying the jokes. Maybe it's because I'm blonde? Right. She doesn't get them. <laughs> Here's one. Why did the blonde cop stiff her partner with the lunch bill? I don't know. Why? That wasn't a very funny joke. Still, not bad for a blonde. <laughs> How much did it cost to buy everyone here a coffee? Probably about $15. Oh, man, celebrating's expensive. Wasn't always that way. I remember when you could celebrate with a truckload of dynamite and a bottle of whiskey, and all it cost you is a buck. Sorry, I was having coffee with a couple of old guys earlier. What are you celebrating? <clears throat> As of today, my string of bad luck is over. Seven years ago today, I broke a mirror. I'll never forget that day. I think we can all guess how this ends. Oh, no, you can't. All I can say is, thank God for that marshmallow truck. Yeah, it's strange, you know, I was with you when you broke that mirror, and that's not how I remember it. Fine, but tell me you didn't think my truck story was better. That'll be 1075. Wanna count? No, I haven't used my debit card in a while, and I want to see if it still works. Okay. Nope, won't work. Is it expired? Nope, it's a membership to a gym, a Recplex. Isn't that in the city? Oh, that thing. Oscar gave it to me, but I never use it. I hate going to the city. I was hoping she'd go. A lot. Well, if you're not going to use it, I'll use it. Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, that's why I asked. I don't know, it says non-transferable. Ah, that's just a fancy way of saying you can't transfer it. This would just be lending it. Doesn't say non-lend to a friendable. Besides, they never check. How do you know? This place could have barbed wire and retinal scans and who knows what else. I agree with Emma. The answer's no. Oh, go ahead and take it. Thanks. Karen's brought it to my attention that you've been telling blonde jokes in the workplace. Did you tell the one about the blonde and the ice cream cone? <laughs> Fitzy! Well, if I'm gonna send him to a sensitivity course, I have to know what it's for. Sensitivity course? It was just a couple of blonde jokes. I know, but once someone registers a formal complaint, then I have to blah, 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 blah. Thanks for your support, Fitzy. You bet. Enjoy your sensitivity course. Oh, and bring me back something warm and fuzzy. Man, this is great. I, I've never felt so free. You know, I'm thinking of buying a lottery ticket. The mirror company called, offered me my old trucking job back. Wasn't that a fake story? Don't rain on my parade. Nothing has changed. The only thing that's changed is your attitude. Oh, yeah? Tell that to this penny I found. All right. Nothing has changed. The only thing that's changed is Hank's attitude. See, he gets it. There's no such thing as bad luck, or good luck, or the Joy Luck Club. That was just a movie, I think. I'll prove it. Wait, oh, no, no, don't do it. Look, I've been there. Don't do it. It's supposed to be a button on this, right? Why won't it? Oh, come on. Yeah, let me, let me try. Oop. See? Huh? You're cursed now, cursed. What did I just tell you? That I was cursed? Hi, hello. 
I'm a member, and I'm Emily Roy. Go ahead. You'll notice that I'm a little taller in this picture. That's because the camera adds five inches. But, of course, you already go ahead, right? I'll head on in because I'm a member. No, wait a minute. I'm wearing flats for God's sake. I'm much taller than I look. I just want to know if you'd like to enter the draw. It's free for members. And I am a member, and I'm Emma. You may notice that my signature has changed a little. That's because my fingers were bitten by a horse. No, oh, it's pretty good, actually. Anything else you'd like me to sign? Yes, the membership renewal forms. Sure, why not? Make it an extra two or three years. This is a great facility. I love coming here. Which way are the changing rooms? Uh, that way. Right. This sensitivity training? Yes, come on in. We're just about to start. Hello? Hi, Emma. It's Terry calling from the Recplex. I got some news about the raffle. What raffle? For the flat screen TV. You won. Oh, that raffle. Who is it? It's the Recplex. Uh-oh. Wanda blew it. Are they suing us? I told you, you should never have joined that stupid Recplex. They say I've won a flat screen TV. I love the Recplex. <laughs> Glad I signed you up. <laughs> What's that ladder doing here? You're not gonna walk under it, are you? Well, I can't walk over it. It says right here, this is not a step. I gotta walk under it. Fran, stop torturing Hank. His life is lousy enough as it is. Thank you. I'm not torturing him. I'm showing him that you don't have to be afraid of silly superstitions or any other Stevie Wonder songs. I walked under the ladder. Nothing happened. Fine. That's two. Two what? Bad things always come in three. First he spilt his soup, now his thumb. My thumb is fine. Is this supposed to bend back like that? I'll go ask the doctor. Greetings, Officer Pelly. I'm back. <laughs> and I respect you in every way. I'm guessing sensitivity training went well. I'm a new man. Ooh, person. Sorry, didn't mean to offend. Davis. <laughs> oh, hello, respected elder. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> I got some new jokes for you. Why did the two blondes cross the road? To get to the university to complete their PhDs? What the hell happened to him? He's just sensitive to other people's needs now. Well, what about my needs to make fun of people? Maybe you should try some sensitivity training. Oh, blow it out your shorts. Or a skirt. And so I said, that's the truth, or my name isn't Emma Leroy, which it is. Oh, Emma, just to follow up on our previous conversation, how's the two o'clock delivery sound? Sounds good. Could we go back to what our previous conversation was about? The raffle. I entered it already. And you won. I won? Yes! Go Wanda! Go Wanda! It's your birthday! It's your birthday! Go Wanda! Who's Wanda? Not me. It's a friend of mine. It's her birthday. Hey, Lacey, I know where we can get a black cat. Well, almost black. He's got a white tail. A black cat with a white tail? What good is that? Listen, you know what? Why don't we just leave Hank alone? You know, maybe, maybe we should. You've already almost broke your thumb, and I, I don't want a third thing to happen to you. Not that I think a third thing is going to happen to you because I am not superstitious. Did you just tap on wood? Because if you did, you didn't. That's arborite. Oh, I tap on everything. <laughs> I 
I tap on arborite, I tap on, you know, glass, I tap on wood. Oops, clumsy me, I spilt the salt. Yeah, let me get that for you. And do what with it? Hmm? Throw it in the garbage. Which is over there. <laughs> I can't believe you would try to steal my prize. Hold on. My membership, my name on the ballot, my prize. I went to the city. I filled out the ballot. I deserve that raffle thing. You don't even know what it is, do you? Oh, don't I? Don't I? I still want it. I'll make you a deal. You keep the membership, I keep the prize. Which is? Which is worth less than the membership. It's worth less? Yeah. All right then, deal. Emma, the rec plex called. They want to get a picture of us with a flat screen TV. <laughs> Hey guys, can I take your order? Well, first of all, Officer Pelly is not a guy. She's what I like to call a human being. Secondly, taking an order sounds rather aggressive. Can we call it something like a request or a gentle reminder? Oh my God. All right, here's a gentle reminder. If you don't order something, you have to leave. We'll just get two coffees to go, black. African-American. Okay. Let's get the happy couple over there next to the TV. Come on. A little bit closer. A little closer. A little... Just take the damn picture. Okay, here we go. Uh, uh, you're smiling, you're happy you won. Maybe give her a little kiss or something. Oh, no, it's, it's not that type of marriage where there's touching or anything. At least put your arm around her. Fine. Yes, sicko. Should we get the whole family in this? No, no, I'm not family. I'm just the smart-ass, know-it-all neighbor Wanda. Now spin around three times and say boogada boogada. I'm not superstitious. <laughs> I'm cautious. Hey, lucky penny. Mine. Mine. Ow. Ow. Well, if you guys don't want it, I'll take it. I'm going to need every penny to pay the gas truck guy on Friday. Gas truck guy. You know what that means? Mm hmm. That means the guy who drives the gas truck. Friday's Friday the 13th. Gas truck's coming, Brent's third thing. I mean, do the math. Carry the two equals boom. Thursday's the 13th, Friday's the 14th. So? Don't carry the two, still, boom! When I count to three, say cheese. One. Hi, Mom. Hello, son. Welcome home. Why are you two... Who is... When did you get a new... Your mother. Here, won it at the Recplex. I go there with a membership that my husband, your father, bought me. And I'm their neighbor, Wanda. And I'm your father. Of course, that's the part that doesn't change. Let's get your son in there as well. Oh, I don't think that's necessary. Well, I think it's a great idea. Not often the whole family gets together like this. Let's squeeze in close and cozy. I'm the luckiest little boy in the whole world. OK, here's the plan. I tackle Brent, you cover him with oven mitts. That gas truck has been to corner gas hundreds of times and nothing's happened. What makes you think it's gonna blow up now? I don't know. Maybe Brent's feet are sore, so he wears his slippers to work. He's walking around, building up static electricity, shakes hands with the gas truck guy, and boom! Seriously, how many oven mitts have you got? Oh, sorry I'm late. I was helping a mentally challenged person get out of his truck. Hank? I prefer the term mentally challenged. Well, I just wanted to apologize for being so hard on you during the sensitivity thing. So, to make it up to you, I got you a replica Star Trek phaser. Oh, Officer Pelly, how considerate of you. I put it in the jail cell to keep it safe. How resourceful. I don't see it in here. 
What are you doing? You're ready to be desensinated? Desensitized. Shut it, Blondie. I'm in charge now. Hi, Brent. It's Lacey. Um, I was wondering if you could swing by the Fumar for me and pick up some, um... Oven mitts. Oven mitts? Uh, listen, I'd love to, but I'm late to meet the gas guy. Oh, look, Brent, I'm nervous about the gas truck. It's your third thing. Well, it could be your third thing, which would be your last thing. Which would be my last thing, since the ruby is so close to corner gas, so... That's a thing. I see. Uh, could you put Hank on? He wants to talk to you. Hey, Brent. I just didn't want to hang up on Lacey. What's this? A chicken on a skateboard. An old lady slipping on a banana peel, and it's funny. <laughs> that is funny. How old is she? What is wrong with you, Davis? I want you both to know I'm sensitive to your anger, and I'm willing to stay here for as long as it takes. I say we put the hose on him. Not yet. I want to try one more thing. Here you go. Thanks, Emma. Wanda. Not according to this. Where did you get one of these? Me and my grandma go to Aquasize every Wednesday. Plus, Brent has them posted up all over town. Hey, Mom. How's that new TV working out? Must be nice, you and Dad, sitting on the couch, getting all snuggly. Ah. Oh. OK. I can't do this anymore. Here's your gym membership back. It is not easy being you. It's not for everyone. OK, I'm going to ask you some questions. Why did the blonde stare at the frozen orange juice? <laughs> it said concentrate. <laughs> you find that funny? No. How can you tell if a blonde has been using your computer? <laughs> There's white out on the screen. You find that funny? No. That's because they're not funny. They're stupid jokes. Here, you do this one. How do you keep a blonde busy for hours? Turn over. How do you keep a blonde busy for hours? Turn over. How do you keep a blonde busy for... Okay, I don't get this. <clears throat> he snorted. Did you find that funny? No. Here, read him another one. What do you see if you look into a blonde's eyes? The back of her head. <laughs> we got him. The old Davis is back. <laughs> I still don't get the turnover joke. Are we missing a page? <laughs> Morning. Morning. Oh, hold on. You're not Emma Leroy. Yes, I am. Nope. You're Wanda. I saw your picture in the newsletter. Well, that's right, I am Wanda. I'm just borrowing Emma's card. I'm sorry, but we have a strict no lending policy here. No, I'm Emma. I lent Wanda my card. But you still lent out your card. No, wait. What? All right, boys. Get it out of here. Five years you've had that card and you've never gone. Way to blow it, Wanda. Hey, Sparky. Sorry I'm late. Oh, for God's sake, Hank, his name is Sparky. Do something. Hey, Brent. Uh, I got some chili cheese dogs in my truck. Uh, let's say you and I go eat them. You know, in my truck. Why do people always think they can distract me with chili cheese dogs? I mean, you don't actually have chili dogs, do you? No. So, uh, this is your gas tank, right? Not your diesel? Because you don't want to mix your gas and your diesel. Really? Why not? There is nothing I'd love more than a man talking about diesel. Hey, what are you doing? Sparky's not even your type. Oh, he's up, Brent. You're killing the heat. Okay, off you go now. Good. What do we do now? 
I don't know, but we got enough gas to get all the way to Mexico. <laughs> oh, great, seven more years bad luck. Sorry about that. We got a little carried away there. That's all right. You wanted to get my attention. Chicks dig gas, guys. Am I right, Brent? Oh, absolutely. Sorry I broke your mirror. No biggie. Build it to Brent. What? No, that's good. That's your third thing. So, when you off work? Never. <laughs> Why did the blonde go to the drive-in in December? <laughs> she wanted to see the movie. Close for the winter. <laughs> <laughs> Good, one. Good one. Hey, did you guys hear the one about the pygmy, the monk, and the cannibal? Hi, I'm Karen. I don't know why I'm here. All I did was tell a little joke. online visit us at cornergas.com